intimacy, love, dating, marriage, romance, companionship, and breakup. Everything is on the table. It's Relationship Theory with Tina Laws. Welcome to Relationship Theory, where we talk about all things relationships, where no topic is off the table. I'm your host, Tina Laws, and today we'll be talking about when it's time or when to know it's time to leave your relationship. And to grace us with that wonderful topic is our Dr. Zena Woolrich. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So let's just get right into it. So this is for all you ladies that are wondering how or when or where. Dr. Zena's going to let you know. So let's get right into it. If you can think about a past relationship, mm -hmm. what would be something you would do today that would make you run away fast? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. And I think when I think back on past relationships, the one thing I would do is listen to myself. You know, we all have that inner voice. Yes. And a lot of times we dismiss it. We yes. don't trust ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so I can think back to one relationship in particular where literally everything within me was saying, get out of this person's presence from the moment that I met her. And I dismissed it. And why do you think you dismissed it? I'm not sure, you know. I think... I think at the time, maybe, um, you, well, I was young and dumb. Let's be real. Because <laughs> we've all been there, right? Yes. <laughs> I was young and dumb and he was cute. So, my, I, and I, did, I didn't, I can't say I didn't have standards, but I had, I had immature standards. Yeah, yeah. And so I didn't listen to my inner self. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I listened to, he was doing really smooth talking. You know how it is. Yeah. And, and so I fell for it. And I dismissed what I felt on the inside. Fast forward two years, and it's like, you know what? When you tell yourself to run, you should have ran. Fast in the opposite direction, screaming if necessary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's funny how us women never do that, right? We don't, we don't trust our innate self. Um, so what was one of the things that really hit home for you when you, when you woke up two years later and you said, you know what? I didn't listen to myself two years ago, but this is this one thing that I'm gonna, I'm not doing this no more. I had to be real to um, be true to my values mm -hmm. and respect my own values because mm -hmm. I didn't. Yeah. And so once I sat up and realized, okay, what are you, what are you really doing here? You know, not in terms of the relationship, but what are you doing? Yes. Because relationships are a reflection of ourselves yes. and a reflect, reflect reflection of where we're at. Mm -hmm. And so once I just kind of snap myself back to reality mm -hmm. because I'm doing these things or I'm in this position that is not a reflection of who I am. Oh, yeah. I couldn't deny it anymore. I had to take action. Yes. And so we call that taking inventory. So mm -hmm. a lot of times us women, we don't, we don't want to really take inventory because we know, we already know what's in that bag. We already mm -hmm. know what we're going to see when we do take inventory. We take off time. But when, when was it that breaking point where you sat down and said, you know what, I need to now take inventory over my life outside of not just in your relationship, but what, what was it about you that made you say, I can't do this no more? Was it anything that changed in your behaviors that caused you to say, this is, this is not a good fit for me? It was actually a period of my life. So I was in a mm. period of transition. Mm. So it was a lot of reflection, period. Yes. Okay, now that I've gotten to this point, what's next? And so I had to look at everything. Not just mm -hmm. the relationship, but where I was because of my education, employment, yes. all of that stuff. Yes. And so once I, that was part of the inventory was the relationship. Yes. And so I, like I said, I had to be honest with myself because mm -hmm. I wanted to move forward mm -hmm. in every area and I couldn't drag this unhealthy relationship with me. I had no interest in dragging it, dragging it with me at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think a lot of times we as women, we always want to um, help somebody out or, you know, see the best in people. And, and don't get me wrong, he wasn't a bad person. It just wasn't a good fit. fit. I, I, I want to make that clear. <laughs> it wasn't a good fit. Yes. And so, you know, we have to be honest with ourselves and realize we can't save the world and we're not supposed to, mm -hmm. really. And so when we encounter situations that cause us or that in order to be in it, we would have to deny mm -hmm. who we are, yes. get out of that situation. Yes. Because we should never deny ourselves in order to be attached to somebody else. Absolutely. Because in reality, they're not attached to the real us anyway. Mm -hmm. They're attached mm -hmm. to the us that we're presenting. Yes. And so we're doing them and ourselves a disservice. Yes. You listening? 
She's got this. And so one of the things I would say is that um, for many of us who have been in these relationships, because we've all been in them, like you mm -hmm. said, um, that take an inventory process. A lot of us don't take inventory when we show up because we're so focused on this relationship's not working and it's failing, how we're gonna make it work and I'm gonna walk away and what people's gonna say and what they're gonna do and all these things. That's something that happens <laughs> highly. Like, you know, people, because most times people from the outside look at me and say, oh, that's cool, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. You know, she's just, just an educated woman, she's got a good job, his whatever he was. Um, and now they're looking at you and say, yeah, good couple, you do these things together. So how do you now tell people or even just accept the fact that, oh my gosh, people's gonna be wondering, well, how they break up? Like, what happened? What was really wrong with her or them? Did you go through Listen, that? Listen, people, but when you're in a relationship, any relationship, mm -hmm. keep people out of it. Mm -hmm. Keep people out of it. And if you're married and you have people in your relationship, get them out, get them out, <laughs> you know? Yes. Because unless it's the two individuals, mm -hmm. then what you really have is interference yes. and disruption mm -hmm. and distortion. Mm -hmm. Other people's opinions shouldn't carry weight in your relationships. Yes. They really shouldn't. And so when, you, when you're interacting with somebody or when you involve somebody, you open your heart up to somebody, mm -hmm. keep your mama, your girlfriends, your cousins, your siblings, love you my siblings, but keep you all, keep you all out. Yes. Because everybody's got an opinion about something. Mm -hmm. And they're, but, not but in the, they're not in there with you. You can't live your life according to other people's opinions. Yes. You would find yourself stuck and miserable, and meanwhile, the people whose opinions you're trying to live up to, though, if they know anything, they don't worry about yours. Exactly. So you're stuck in the bondage of, of, of the burden mm -hmm. of living up to somebody else's standards, mm -hmm. and meanwhile, they're living their life. Absolutely. So what, what would you say for him when you, when you tell him, you know what, I'm done. I'm not doing this no more. Did he, did, was he <laughs> expecting it, or was he like, huh? How we get here? He was shocked and didn't believe me. And guess <laughs> what? We're going to take a break on that. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Relationship theory. We'll be right back after these messages.